As soon as the French nuclear industry developed in the early 1970s, it became necessary to monitor its facilities and control discharges with particular care. The nuclear industry produces liquid and gaseous radioactive effluents from its purification and filtration systems. Some of these effluents are released into the environment, within limits permitted by the public authorities. Monitoring consists of taking samples from various parts of the environment and then measuring their radioactivity. This radioactivity is measured in Becquerels. Monitoring is carried out by the operators and IRSN. This is the primary role of radioecology, detecting the presence of radioactive elements in the environment, finding their origin, and ascertaining their final destination. Independent associations also carry out their own monitoring activities. Publishing the results of measurements taken by everyone helps provide the public with objective information. Until the 1990s, radioecology was a discipline devoted entirely to the radiation protection of man. By verifying that the impact of discharges was negligible for man, it was believed that it was also negligible for other species. However, this has now been called into question, and as a result, monitoring has changed. It now also monitors radioactivity in flora and fauna, and the various parts of the ecosystems. The environment can be represented by a series of boxes. Radioecologists measure the radioactivity in each of the boxes and try to ascertain the transfer mechanisms from one box to another. Contamination of organisms with very low but chronic levels of radioactivity is a very long-term area of research. Ecotoxicity tests can be developed over several generations, in other words, several decades. Ecosystems are complex and radioactive pollutants widely scattered. There is a major need for experimental data collected in the field. Radioecologists choose the species and environments very carefully in order to obtain measurement results that can be interpreted. In the sea, these are shellfish and algae, which concentrate radioactivity. They are referred to as bioindicators. Freshwater samples include sediments, as they retain radioactivity. Once the mathematical models have been validated using the measurements, they are used to forecast the final destination of the radioactive pollutants to assist with monitoring and provide information for making decisions in the event of accidents. And laboratories have moved outdoors. Radioactivity measurements are taken in open-air laboratories in carefully selected locations to validate the models. These are called study areas. With numerous complex interactions between its different parts, the environment is a vulnerable common heritage whose quality must be protected for future generations. It is the duty of all those concerned, the government, operators of nuclear facilities, experts, and associations, to work together to provide effective, continuous monitoring of the environment. In other words, real citizen vigilance.